Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to do this for you all today. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw a few months ago that I was posting about how over the summer I am not using heat on my hair. I actually talked about it in my last video, I think, as well with my uh, six year update. But yeah, this is my hair all like, it's not actually as dry as it usually is before I'm ready to wash it. So that's why I'm showing you guys. I still have curl definition, it's still soft and bouncy. So essentially I'm gonna show you how I go from this to what you saw at the start of the video. If you're interested in seeing that, I hope you'll stay tuned. And we're going to start off with the products that I use. So I'm not going to go into detail about the products. Um, I've put the titles here and what the bottles look like because I've done uh, tutorials with each and every one of these products on my channel before. So hopefully you recognize it. If not, make sure you check out the tutorials that I will link above of me using these products. So to kick it off, I'm grabbing that Go Bar Organics uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. And I just start by wetting my hair. And the key to this is um, water pressure. So prepping my curls for wash and go really starts from the very first thing that I do. So you see I'm doing all of my hair backwards in one direction using that water pressure. Um, you see the curls are already starting to revert and come together before any product is in them. Um, and then I go through and finger detangle very gently. Um, the water pressure helps. You never want to just finger detangle on dry hair or with nothing in it. But yeah, I use the water pressure and do just a little finger detangling. You see I'm dropping product here. And then I take the shampoo and follow that same direction you see. Um, going all the way back, making sure to get those in. And then I really finger detangle now that I have um, a product in my hand. Um, and actually, I wouldn't recommend this with all shampoo products. Some shampoo products are kind of stripping and make your hair tingly, but Grow Bar Organics, this specific brand, is very soft. Like the shampoo almost feels as soft as a conditioner. So that's why I feel okay um, finger detangling with it. But yeah, I'm just scrubbing my roots, making sure to get everything, getting those ends because I really focus on the ends now that I have that color in to make sure I'm not losing my ends. I'm really trying to retain my ends if you've seen the six year hair update. So yeah, I'm going through finger detangling, not a whole lot. I will do more finger detangling by the end, but this is really just to make sure I'm not uh, developing tangling while I'm going through. And still you see, using that water pressure, following that same pattern, and the curls are already popping. Like, I love this routine. So now I'm going in with the conditioner and taking as much as I feel like I need, really coating my hair and again following that same backwards direction, not interrupting the curl pattern, <laughs> trying to get this conditioner out. The bottle is so low y'all, I need to buy some more. But anyways, yeah, just following again that same pattern, uh, scrubbing it backwards, making sure it's at my roots and then focusing on the ends and finger detangling while I'm doing it. And this conditioner is so bomb, so it's so easy to finger detangle. Um, I did have a few snags, but honestly following the same routine back to back to back, I don't really have as many tangles as I usually do. Now I just let that sit on there and put in a little bun so I can finish my shower. And now that we're back, sorry, you see the line from my face wash, <laughs> lol. But anyways, I take it out and then you see I grab a white tooth comb and then um, I let the water pressure just kind of run down the shaft of my hair and then I comb down using the water pressure. So I do this under the water, I'm not combing outside of the water. I'm letting the conditioner run off of my hair while using the white tooth comb to comb through. Um, and my curls pop like none other with this. I mean they pop even more than a Denman brush. A Denman brush kind of makes it more of like a coil and doesn't really get my roots. This process here makes my curls pop. So you see I'm just turning making sure to get all the conditioner out but using the water pressure to do so. Then stepping out of the shower I take my microfiber towel uh, which you can get from Target. I got this one from Target. And I just do that for like literally a quick 10 seconds. And then I take it down and I'm going in with the uh, treatment mask. And we're going to sit under the dryer with this for a little bit. So I just make sure to coat my hair entirely. Um, still finger detangling literally with every step. Finger detangling, making sure there are no kinks and um, tangles in there. But yeah, just going through real quick. And then wrapping it up. I did not have any more plastic caps, so plastic bag it is. Tied it up, and then we're gonna go sit under the dryer for a little bit. And what I'm doing here, um, I just have a little tabletop dryer. I'm setting it for 15 minutes. Um, sometimes I'll sit under there longer, but today I was rushing, so yeah. After 15 minutes, I'm taking that plastic bag down. My hair is really so soft. You see the curls are already really starting to pop. 
and we're gonna go ahead and rinse this out and I just rinse it out in the sink still making sure to rinse it out in one direction using that water pressure Then I go in once more with the microfiber towel and you see guys, I mean, can you see the pre-curls? Like this is with no product. My curls are already popping. That's what I mean when I say the wash and go starts from the first step. I've already prepped myself and set myself up for success. So I decided to go with the uh, main choice, quickly pair, leave-in this time instead of the olive oil one that I showed you guys. But yeah, I just take it and rake through my hair. Like I said, I already have a tutorial of me doing this with my hair. Um, but I think with that one I use the dimming brush. This one I'm just finger detangling literally and it's so easy because I have literally no tangles because every step we were finger detangling and combing. So it just slips through my hair. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. I mean do you see the curls you know? This is just with my fingers. Like I just love this routine so much. Look at the definition and the shine and the bounce. Can you see how happy I am, y'all? <laughs> like, uh, this is probably, no, this is my best wash and go routine yet. And there's no heat in that. I just don't get it. But yeah, I just kind of rake through, make sure the curls are gathered, uh, make sure I've uh, got product on every strand so that there's no frizz. Look at the bounce. Look at the bounce, y'all. I love it. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of the olive oil eco styler gel and lay it on my edges and then on that part right there because I do have some flyaways that like to come about. So yeah, and I do typically scrunch my ends with it just to make sure that they are crispy. And these are the curls, y'all. So this is my hair after it's air dried for a few hours. Some people will totally be okay with the shrinkage that you get after just air drying. Um, but usually after a few hours, I like to try and go in and stretch, um, just showing you what the curls are looking like after a few hours. So at this point, like I said, I want to get it just a little longer because my hair will really uh, scrunch up <laughs> if I let it just completely air dry. So I'm pulling it back into a low, very loose ponytail. Um, and I try not to disrupt the curl pattern at all when I'm doing this ponytail and I leave those front pieces out because if I pull them back into it it really will stretch them too much and it's hard to get that curl back after it's completely gone so yeah I'm gonna just leave my hair like this for a few more hours to let it kind of dry some more so yeah it's been a few more hours and um, what I love about this style is I really could wear that throughout the day if I really needed to um, but yeah I'm just gonna take it out and you see how the front is pretty stretched the curl is still there, but it's pretty stretched. But yeah, so at this point, my hair is about, I would say 90 to 95% dry. My ends are dry, so I'm shaking it out. And we're going to handle the stretch part with uh, just a spritz bottle of water. So I'm spritzing it, not too heavy because I don't want it to completely, you know, be soaked. But just enough for the curl to revert. And as you can see, the curl just kind of starts curling back up. But keeps that stretched look that we want. So I know my hair is still somewhat wet, especially at the root, because as you can see, it's kind of like long and flat, but I love volume. So these curls are cool, but I'm just going to let them be out and free for a little bit and shake them loose until I get, voila! So funny story, I didn't actually plan for the end of this video and the reveal to be in the car, but I was on the move. So I'm actually going to show you guys the final result kind of vlog style and tell you how I feel about it. But can we just take a moment to appreciate this curl shot right here? Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with this routine, guys. I'm obsessed. So yeah, I'm just coming on to show you guys uh, what it typically looks like when I wear my stretched wash and go with no heat. This is the final result. The curls just pop, y'all. That is my favorite part of this, is the curls are just on fleek. They're so soft and springy and defined but I still get that volume and it's just giving me life like I never thought I would be able to get a stretch fro that I like without heat but y'all this has been serving me 
I want the light. If you give it a try and it works out for you, let me know about it. And if you've got your own tips and tricks that you want to share for the betterment of the group, make sure to put it down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, seriously, I really, I love it, y'all. Look at me, stretching the fro. It's a little frizzy at the top because I had the windows down when I was driving. I'm actually in Indiana right now. And so on the way here, I decided to put the windows down. So it did get a little bit frizzy, but I don't know. I love it. I still got the definition. I still got the look that I want. The sun is giving me life. It's summer. I'm just so excited, guys. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.